Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota RAV4 Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its power moonroof. If you have your parking sensors along with your 360 degree backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota RAV4 Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look just at your front grill, you'll see your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera along with your parking sensors and over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. It also comes with the body side moldings, you have your integrated signal lamps, down facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera. And then taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you'll see your line spot warning indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just looking at there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Blizzard Pearl. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have that cinnamon leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat lumbar support. Over on your left hand side you have your uh, mirror control, uh, sorry, your mirror controls, lane departure alert, heat steering wheel, all wheel drive lock and power lift gate release. You have the seat memory controls for your driver 1 and 2 so once you have your seating arrangement all set up all you have to do is hit set and then driver 1 or driver 2. Window locks, power locks and window controls both your front and rear windows. And a couple of the controls you'll find on the steering wheel include your volume control, seat function, Bluetooth, mode select, voice recognition. You have your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. You do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up you automatically. Now, if we take a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So, scrolling through, you have your fuel economy with the distance to empty, eco indicator, sway warning. You can also go through your compass, audio, lane departure alert, and messages, and your settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre collision system, blind spot warning on and off, parking sensors on and off, and a couple of other additional features. Taking a closer look now at your center dash as well as your display, you'll see a couple of different features on there, which include your hazard lights view for your 360 degree backup camera traction control on and off and then for all those parents out there if you're worried about your kids uh, not buckling up their seat belts those indicator lights won't actually sh turn off until they've actually buckled up their seat belts now if we take a look inside the apps menu you have your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features you do have that premium JBL sound system with the Sirius XM satellite radio dual zone climate control settings you have your eco and uh, sport mode along with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, window wiper de-ice, your USB and auxiliary input, and your power outlet matted to a automatic transmission. And if we take a look just at the top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And then you'll see the open and close and tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof with the sunglass case holder. Now, taking a look at your backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. You can also change up the backup camera view to a more dynamic view, or the 360 view, or the traditional backup camera view you're used to. Now, the nice thing is it has the guiding lines in there as well, which makes things a lot easier for you when you're parking into a stall. There are also guiding lines, so depending on which way you turn the steering wheel, they'll turn in that direction as well. Now, when we're in drive, and I hit that view button that's just right beside the hazard lights, It'll actually show you a nice front view of the vehicle, making things a lot easier for you, especially if you're in an underground parking and you need to see exactly how much room is in front of you. If you want, you can keep it on the auto feature, so anything under 10 kilometers an hour, you can actually stay on this feature. That way, it makes things a little bit easier for you. And then if you hit the view button once more, you'll have that nice side view of the vehicle as well. And then if we hit the view button once more, it'll go back to the previous screen you were on. And if we hit the view button once more, it'll show you a nice... 360 degree view up close as well as an uh, aerial view just to show you if there's any obstructions in your way just before you head out in the morning and then when you're all finished up just using that just hit the view button once more and it will go back to the previous screen you were on finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper you're gonna see your parking sensors just located right across 
On the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, you do have the cargo net in the back, which is great because you can place smaller items in the back without fear of them bouncing around just while you're driving. If you need more additional cargo space, you can actually fold down that rear seat for yourself. And taking a look underneath the floor here, you'll find the spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. Now the other thing I like is that you have a power adjustable tailgate, so all you have to do is hold down the button for approximately two seconds the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, it can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.